as we're about ready for kickoff. Pampa in the white uniforms, as I mentioned, with green number, numerals will be kicking off from the right, teeing it up on the 40-yard line is the kicker, trying to make sure that the wind's not going to blow it over tonight. And back deep for the Rangers, Nathan Hug, about on his 11-yard line. And we're almost ready for action. Welcome to the football season in 2017. If you missed us last week, Joey Hill, the sophomore, make that number 19, Brandon Baker, the senior, kicking it off. And Hug takes it from the four, from the left side. 15-20, has open running room to the 25, now 30. Up to the 35 and trying to get to the 40, but will be tackled at around the 39-yard line. Good return there by Nathan Hug as he gets the ball on the four-yard line and brings it up 35 yards to the 39. First down and 10 Rangers. Special teams is something you heard Coach Corsi talked about, and the Rangers were able to do well there on the opening kickoff return. Good. Clock remains stopped with 9.04 just underway here in the first quarter. It looks like they'll go for it. Two wideouts separated to the left. Two stacked to the right. Stewart will go for it. Fourth down and 15. Pump fakes. Pulls it back, looks over the middle and completes the ball to the tight end. And that is going to be good enough for a first down to Daryl Fields. 6'4", 215, got open over the middle, inside the 15 to the 13. And Pampas striking inside the red zone. Here's the first down call, this time a handoff. Fumble on the play, and Perryton may have the football, and they do. Perryton with a fumble recovery at the 10-yard line. And the Rangers will take over deep in their own end. Looks like Stewart never had that football on the quarterback running back exchange, and that's a costly mistake for Pampa, but Perryton will sweep it up and have it first down and 10 at their own 11. Drive stalled, scoreless, with three minutes and 13 seconds gone by here in the first quarter. I didn't see who that uh, blitzing linebacker was, but he, he split the gap and he was at the quarterback whenever he was trying to make the handoff exchange. Moving from left to right here in the first quarter, Play clock down to 22. Hug calls for the signal. Gets it right in the center of his four. He's going to have to be flush running. 15-20 to the right side. Will he go 25 and out of bounds? Good job there by the senior, Nathan Hug, realizing, hey, there's nothing there. i got to go. And wide open running room to his, wide, to his right. That's the wide side of the field. And Hug is able to advance it and get the Rangers their first first down of the ball game. Football. Here's Hug with 4:14 on the first quarter clock, scoreless. But Pampa's knocking on the door. Here's Fields up through the middle to the five touchdown. Pampa, Daryl Fields, the 6-4 tight end, carries the football from the right side slot and goes right up through the gut and drives the Mack truck into the end zone. Touchdown, Pampa. They're on the board. What'd you see there, Brad? No contest for Fields as he was able to run in with only a little bit of a contact there at the five. Yeah, well, we 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 showed them where we were going to blitz, and then they just ran into the open hole on the left side of the center. Here's the right-footed kicker, Brandon Baker, kicks it up, and it's good. 4.08 left first quarter. Pampa strikes first Brandon Baker takes the and leads it 7 to nothing On the radio on 98.3 KXDJ. Over to one of the three coaches doing the hand signal, similar to the third base coaches in baseball. Belly, belly, forearm, nose, clap, clap. Here's the play, third and 11, straight back drop, hug. Plenty of time, throws it over the middle. Hernandez makes the catch at the 40-yard line. First down and 10 Rangers as Hug put it low, but Hernandez, the wide receiver, went down and helped out with his quarterback, and it'll be a new set of downs for the Rangers at the 40. That's a 40-player deficit. 20 on either side. Here's Hug, fumble on the play. Hug loses the ball and the ball's loose at the 20 and it'll go behind the 20 and be picked up by Pampa as Hug was in trouble at around the 25. Scrambling, stripped, and Pampa will get the ball inside the red zone at the 17. Oh my. And you can also catch the highlights on our YouTube page right after this play. Here's Stewart looking over to the left. Picked off on the play from the 15 to the 20, 30 and 35 to midfield, it's a foot race to the 40, to the 35, 30, 25, and out of bounds. Rangers pick off the pass. Dakota Buck takes it into Pampa territory all the way to the Pampa 25. He read it, he saw it, he caught it, and he ran 
down the sidelines on the left side. Dakota Buck with the interception and the Rangers set up shop. Defensive interception by Buck and the Red are knocking on the door from the right side with 125 left here in the quarter. Good day. First down and 15. Hernandez rolling left. Quarterback run all the way, and he'll be sacked on the play. Another loss of five yards, this time defensively by Brady Porter. And they'll go quickly on first and goal from the two. Stewart to Stewart, bobbled, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pampa. A two-yard carry by the running back, Keyshawn Stewart, and Pampa, 13. The Rangers, zero, with a PAT upcoming. Pampa in that no huddle offense is really able to just pick and choose where they want to go with the ball. Stewart is very accurate with the pass, and they've got a couple of backs back there now that Stewart has recovered from that first quarter fumble, has showed that he is a force to be reckoned in with 5'9", 190. PAT, snap is good, kick is up, and it is good by Brendan Baker. 14 to nothing, Pampa in front of the Rangers, flag on the play, we'll get the results of that as we come back, it's gonna be offside against the Rangers, declined, no blood, no foul. 9.22 left, first half, 14 for Pampa, zip for the Rangers. After this one minute break, we'll have the kickoff on 98.3 KXDJ. To get the crazy fan of the game, great prizes to be awarded. Hug, straight back drop on second down and four. Long pass and it'll be picked off at the 20. Overthrow of the receiver, now at the 20-25. Here comes the tackle out of bounds at about the 33. Intended receiver on the play was Bryce Juarez, but Hug airmailed Juarez, still from that left side hash. Two receivers split either side, has a back in the set. It's not Stewart, it's a new back, as Stewart takes a breather, the one that just got the touchdown a moment ago. Stewart looks to the back, throws into the flat out of the backfield. Here's the running back, dances through traffic and is able to get into an open running field. Past the 45, up to the 47, maybe the 48 is the running back, Caleb Caldwell, the 5'6", 151-pound sophomore. Move the chain. Inside seven and a half, Stewart with a back along the side. That's Caldwell to his right hip. Twins to either side, ball on the left side hash. Looks left, straight back drop, pump fakes right, throws that way. Good play there defensively by the Rangers as the ball was intended for the wide receiver from Pampa in Justin Thomas and an outstanding defensive effort that time by Ryan Davis. Davis coming up and making a play. Davis, 5'10", 159. Make that 5'8", 140, the sophomore Davis. He's on the wide side defensive left. Here's Stewart, a running play, quarterback keeper. First down yardage and more inside the 30 to about the 32. Here's Stewart, throws left to Fields, has blocking. Five, four, three, two, one, touchdown, Pampa. Hard to stop the big man. And that's three touchdowns now for the Harvesters. And they take a 20 to nothing lead here in the second quarter. Daryl Fields from 17 yards out for the touchdown. Baker with the PAT upcoming. Midway through the second quarter and the kick is up and it's good into the band area where the Ranger band is ready to perform at halftime. PAT good, 21 zip, Pampa, 604 left second quarter on the radio on 98.3 KXDJ. This play from the left side hash. Trips to the right, bubble screen, caught by Fields and tackled immediately. Good job there by Adam Trejo. No, that's Nathan Hug who blows up that play on Fields. And well, you gotta bring your big boy britches if you're gonna bring down Daryl Fields. Hug caught him at the thighs right after he caught the ball and brought him down face first. Loss of a yard on the play and you won't hear that very often. And then in the final 12, they'll have to go against this win which doesn't seem to have broken still Gusting about to 20 to 25, handoff to Stewart. Gets through traffic into the secondary, past the 35 to the 38 yard line. Stewart, two wide receivers in the slot, along with two wide receivers to either side. And what a defensive play that time, cutting up the defender over there. That's 
Kevin Ariana, the sophomore who has really come into the roster, a late addition to the varsity staff, and he put a hit on the wide receiver that time, Darius Williams. Keep it to a short gain of about three. Third. Stewart looks over traffic and calls for the signal after pointing to the right side, looking that way. Back in the pocket, looks downfield, flushed, and will throw into the flat to the back. Stewart to the 35-30, one man to beat. To midfield, or to the middle of the field, rather. Past the 20, inside the 20 to about the 19. That's the running back, Keyshawn Stewart, the senior, going through traffic after having them. A lot of running room on that open wide side, the wide side of the field. Darted back in between the hashes and got a good gain for the first down from the ninth. Fourth down and two, high snap. Stewart throws to the left, caught behind the 15, trying to move forward, and the Rangers come up with a big defensive stop. How about that, sports fans? Kevin Ariano, Steven Hernandez, and Adam Trejo in on the stop as the wide receiver Darius Williams caught the ball behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give a little credit to that snap and quarterback center exchange as Stewart had to go to his ankles to retrieve the ball that messed up the timing. He made the completion, but the Ranger defense came up strong. That's the second fourth and out that the Ranger defense has put up against the Harvester offense. First down and 10 Rangers from their own 14. Bradley. I'm not sure he didn't bounce that ball in. It was close. I mean, he pulled that off of the turf. 7.23, over the head of Hernandez, back to the one yard line, throw looks away, throw it away, throw it away. He'll be sacked on the one. Clock, we play four 12 minute quarters in high school football. Here's Hernandez rolling left, dump pass, Cater, wide open running room, 15, 20, where'd he go, 25, out of bounds and around the 21. A lot of distance made up on the play, but they are gonna be short by three, fourth and three coming up here. They need to get to the 24, Cater with a good job there but headed for the sidelines instead of darting it into the middle of the field where there may have been a little more meat on that bone, but pretty good job by Cater in the open field on the pass and catch. Good for 15 yards, Team. fourth down. Thank you, second and 10. From the right side hash, Stewart with a handoff, running room to midfield. Breaks a tackle inside of Perryton territory. This is Caldwell 40, 35-30. Man to beat to the 20 and driven out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. Right, first and 10 from the Perryton 20 yard line. Moving from left to right, knocking on the door with 514 left. Back in the pocket is Stewart. Short dump pass inside in that zone area. And Dakota Buck makes him pay at the 23. They'll give forward progress to the line of scrimmage at the 20. The receiver on the play was Evan Boyd for Pampa. Buck brings down the receiver out of his linebacker position. Four. Second and two. Still from the right side, Hash. Fields lines up in the backfield with Caldwell. Stewart, the quarterback, calls for the shotgun snap, and here come the Rangers. Sophomore running back, 5-4-3-2-1, touchdown, Pampa. Caldwell in for the score from four yards out. Caleb Caldwell, the sophomore running back. That's been a tough duo to stop. He and the senior, Keyshawn Stewart, have punished the Rangers from the backfield. They're so quick, and they get into the open field, and dipsy-doozle, they're gone. 27 to zip. Pampa in front with the PAT upcoming from the place kicker, Brendan Baker. Snap is good, hold is good, and the kick is up, and it's good. 28 to nothing, Pampa with the lead. 3.05 left to go in the third quarter on 98.3 KXDJ. And we'll be opening it up again for next year. We'll be loving to add some more. Fourth down and one, they'll go for it. Here's Stewart to the goal line, touchdown Pampa. Keyshawn Stewart in from one yard out. That'll make the score 34 to nothing with the PAT upcoming at the 10.32 mark of the fourth quarter. Pampa 34, Perryton zero. So 197 went in the ground or on the steps today. We sold a few more, they'll be getting out and then by the next home game. By the next, next home week, game, yes. next week against Canadian. And then we got a couple of weeks break where you we may have to fill some orders, right? Because we... Um, we're going to try to fill those all by Thursday. Yeah. The rest of the orders we got in today, um, we're hoping to have those out by Thursday. We should. And uh, then we'll have two weeks away, I believe. And That's then right. And we'll have back a home game. Kick is up, and it's good. 35 to nothing. We'll keep it here during this timeout and spend our... I think they're getting better. I do, I think too. they're building, for sure. Snap. I think we've got to... 
Snap over the head of Hernandez, retreats to the four yard line and that will be another loss on the play of 24 yards on the snap over the head to the quarterback and that's been a concern here tonight. Definitely defensively a better effort tonight. Special teams has played well. Offense has its struggles, but you know, this is like preseason football in the NFL or really in college football. You know, you play Alcorn State, you play Southwestern Eastern next to nothing Oklahoma State Panhandle University just to get some games in and improve. And that's what Perryton and Coach Corsi are doing here. They scheduled a very, very tough gauntlet of six non-conference games, but the reason is to get better so when you play district, you have something to work off of. Here's a run up the middle by the quarterback, and this will be a nice game to about the 16-yard line, gain of 12 on the play. Nice clock running was 7:22. First down and 10 from the 42-yard line from the left side, hash throwing right, caught. Caldwell, 42, whoop de doo dances across the 40-yard line, spins at the 35 and loses the football, and Perryton may have the football as Caldwell tried to do a 360 and spin around and get a couple of extra yards after gaining about eight and a half. The ball comes loose, and Perryton has the football. How about that, sports fans? Yeah, we needed that. Another turnover by the Ranger defense. They're going to get the gold ball tonight, Brad. Despite being down and outscored by the Pampa offense, the effort and the production and the turnovers and the ability to stop when really needed has been the defensive unit tonight. Well, Seven. again, you can just... Luther in the backfield with Hernandez, the quarterback, calling for the snap. They'll fake it to Luther. Hernandez will get the quarterback keeper and spin past the 40 and go to the 45, maybe 46 on the quarterback keeper by Steven Hernandez. Move the chains, that's a new set of downs for the Rangers, 242 to go here in the ball game. 35 to zip. Well, yep. that's our second first down of the half. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Eight seconds on the clock, Pampa will go to 2-0. and They defeat Littlefield 49-12 to last week and now Perryton here tonight, one play left on the clock, there's the buzzer. Halt off to Trejo, batted ball at the seven ball game. We want to with Faith Perryton be defeated by Pampa tonight. 35 to nothing from Ranger Field. We'll send her to break, come back for a post game show here from Ranger Field as Pampa takes game two, 35 to nothing on 98.3 KXDJ. <laughs> 